tuned in to the Andrew Lawton Show. Let's talk about really what's all happening here, uh, specifically on Monday. Franco Terrazano, Federal Director for the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, uh, joins us once again. April 1st is a big day, not a good one for taxpayers, though, is it, Franco? What, what's happening that day, first off? Because it's hard to keep track of it all. Well, April Fool's Day, hey? And yeah. Like so many other times, taxpayers are the punchline in Ottawa, okay? You've got carbon tax going up, alcohol taxes going up, and member of parliament pay going up. So you're going to pay higher prices at the pumps. You're going to pay higher prices when you go to the bar and restaurant, and your tax bill is going up to fund even more bloated salaries of our members of parliament. So a bad day to be a taxpayer, let me tell you. Yeah, and I, I wanted to ask a little bit about the momentum here. I, I know there are some rallies, well, not some, I mean, quite a large number of rallies and these mini convoys that are being uh, planned for Monday. Uh, Pierre Polyev himself has been bringing out thousands to his Axe the Tax, Spike the Hike uh, events and, and whatnot. I know uh, your colleague, Chris Sims, I think actually right now or in like 30 minutes is doing a, a press conference in Alberta. So there is a groundswell here. It's just not translating into action at the one level of government that can do something about this. Well, and that's at their own peril, right? If Liberal MPs and NDP MPs want to keep voting to raise people's carbon taxes, that's at their own peril. Because here's the thing. Canadians are absolutely united against these carbon tax hikes. Canadians are sick and tired of the federal government not only making our lives more expensive, but making the necessities of our lives more expensive. Canada's a big place. You know, people have to fuel up their car to get to work. Well, the carbon tax makes that more expensive. Canada... It's a cold place. People have to heat their homes. Well, the carbon tax makes that more expensive. And one more point, right? We all know that the grocery prices are high. Well, let's think about that for a second. Because the carbon tax will cost Canadian farmers a billion dollars by 2030. So the carbon tax makes it more expensive for farmers to grow food. It makes it more expensive for truckers to deliver the food. And it's also making it more expensive for Canadians to afford food. Right. So Canadians absolutely united against this carbon tax, not only Canadians, but also provincial politicians of all political stripes. So the only ones who are tone deaf and late to the party are Trudeau, his ministers, his, his liberal MPs and also NDP MPs. I, let me let me ask you here, Franco, about the really the two bits of information that the government has been giving to sell the tax that I, I feel are confusing to Canadians, and I'm hoping you have the numbers on this. Number one, most Canadians are better off with the tax than without it. Now, that on the surface sounds ridiculous, but the government touts this rebate and says, no, 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 most Canadians are getting more in the rebate than they're paying. So that's claim one. Uh, claim two, that all of the experts agree the carbon tax is not a significant significant driver of inflation. It's just one, you know, itsy bitsy, tiny, teeny little fraction of inflation and not a significant driver. Go. All right. I'm getting the football and I'm going for a run, ladies and gentlemen. So on the rebates, er, wrong, magic math. Okay. Now I think I heard the prime minister say something along the lines that the premiers are spreading misinformation. Well, there is a bunch of misinformation, but that is coming from prime minister, Justin Trudeau, his cabinet ministers and his liberal MPs. Because the parliamentary budget officer, the government's own independent nonpartisan budget watchdog, shows that the carbon tax will cost the average Canadian family up to $911 more a year than what they get back in rebates. Hundreds of dollars more a year than what they get back in rebates. But let's just set that data aside for a second, okay? Let's just think about it logically. They charge a carbon tax, then they charge their sales tax on top of the carbon tax. That tax on tax alone cost Canadians about $500 million this year. And then it cost the government about $200 million to hire the bureaucrats to administer the carbon tax. So there is no way that a government can impose a carbon tax, charge its sales tax on top of the carbon tax, skim a bunch of money off the top to pay for a bunch of bureaucrats, and somehow make the vast majority of Canadians better off with rebates. That is impossible. But Andrew, only a couple months ago, by his own actions, Trudeau proved that the carbon tax does make life more expensive. Remember, he was surrounded by his Atlantic caucus, and he announced relief by taking the carbon tax off of furnace oil. Now, why would he do that? Because he knows that the carbon tax does make life more expensive. Now, Andrew, that's the rebate shenanigans busted. 
let's talk about this letter from the economist. Well, you hear economists talk about efficiency all the time. Well, Andrew, it doesn't sound that efficient to me to make it more expensive for Canadian parents to fuel up their cars to get their kids to soccer practice with a tax that won't solve a global issue. It doesn't sound efficient to me to make it more expensive for Canadian seniors to stay warm during the winter months with a tax that won't solve a global issue. It doesn't sound very efficient to me to make it more expensive for a Canadian single mom to put food on the table with a tax that won't solve a global issue. And not only that, you know who Trudeau should actually be listening to? The people he's supposed to represent, Canadians. And the vast majority of Canadians do not support his carbon tax hikes. So he should listen to Canadians, and at the very least, he should cancel the carbon tax hike. All right, April 1st, uh, are you going to be out uh, in the streets as well on uh, Monday? Well, we're, hey, we're going to be so busy. All we're doing is talking carbon tax, alcohol tax, MP pay raise. You know, you talked about Chris Sims doing a press conference today. I did a press conference in Ottawa today. And I know a lot of my colleagues all across Canada are going to continue to bang the drum with press conferences of their own. All right. Well, we look forward to that as well. Have a, a great long weekend uh, and enjoy the little bit more affordability you get between now and Monday, I guess. that's the <laughs> have, have a little tax-free rum springer this weekend. Uh, Franco Terrazano, always good to talk to you, sir. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Andrew. Happy Easter. Thanks for listening to The Andrew Lawton Show. Support the program by donating to True North at www.tnc.news.